Hello, everyone. How is it going? My name is Sarah, and I am here doing Mallory's nails. And she picked a really cute design, so we figured, let's go on and do it live. So let me walk you through what we have done so far. We prepped all of her new growth, then we um, cleansed with acetone. We've gone in with luminary, and we just have these three left to do. And then we are going to get on to the fun part. How is your, what day is today? Wednesday. How is your Wednesday? Uh, there was a really good question on our previous live that I need to go answer. But in case anybody is wondering, Luminary does not have to be soaked off every time. It is considered a hard gel base. It, although it is a soak off product, it is considered a hard gel base. And you can just e-file down to a thin layer, prep the new growth, and treat it like an infill product, which is really, really nice because then we are not over prepping that natural nail. If you ever wanted to soak it off, if that was how you've built your business, then what you'll want to do is Number one, don't use primer. Luminary already has primer built into it. And by using Commit Primer, you're just adding um, a little bit of insurance. But if you are a soak off salon, you do not want to use primer because then you will have a really hard time getting it off. Then it's like stuck like glue. Um, that would be number one. Number two, you need to file it down to a very, very thin layer and then soak off the remainder. So, however, if you can ever get away from soaking, I would suggest doing so. Soaking causes a lot of dryness to the nail plate. It causes um, opportunity for contact dermatitis for both you and your client. And I just feel like um, for the health of the nail plate, leaving behind what you've already, the product that's already on there and is prepped is just better no matter what. Hello everyone. Lock that, please. Now I'm having Mallory lock this for about 20 seconds. So something that I recently learned is that if you want, say you created like this perfect apex and it is glorious and you put it in the lamp and you lock it for only three to five seconds and then you come out and you keep going and then you realize the shape has changed except that you can't really figure out why because you locked it in place and all of the things. What we need to do is lock it for longer. It really does need to harden underneath uh, for the shape to stay the same. <coughs> when we lock it, it's only locking the top layer <clears throat> of gel rather than deep down inside. So if you have created that perfect shape on your client's nail, then you would just have them going for longer. And what I would suggest is so that you don't lose time and get behind is to do two nails on one hand, then put that in, work on two nails on the other hand, put those in, go back to the first hand, work on two nails, so on and so forth until you're done, ending with the thumbs. And that will help you not get behind and add, you know, seconds. And by working while the other hand is in, you're, you know, making the most of 20 seconds because at the end of the day, time is money. What did you say, Devin? Hello to the most, I don't know. Hello, my most favorite human ever. <gasps> Hello, Devin, how are you? The reason why, we, why I have her upside down is because I'm letting gravity do the work. One thing I've noticed about our current pot of luminary is that it has definitely been in a lot of light because it's thicker. And so it's moving slower. Um, I'm using that to my benefit of hanging her upside down, but Luminary in general is a very thin product and tends to run. And by hanging them upside down, then what it's doing is creating that natural apex in the nail 
and you're letting gravity do the work rather than arguing with the, uh, silently arguing with the gel, trying to get it to do what it is you're wanting it to do. However, if you're in the mood for a silent argument, go for it. All right, in you go. Luminary, if you apply it in a thin layer, is a 30 second cure. And if you apply it in a builder layer, it is a 60 second cure in an LED lamp. <clears throat> All right, she has chosen a glorious color called Intuitive. And then I need, um, let's go with, Almondine, maybe? We'll check it against her skin tone. So this is the green that she's chosen. It's so beautiful. It's kind of like a deep jade, has that kind of tone. It's just a little darker. Uh, absolutely stunning color. And then I need a nude on her. Um, let's check and see if Almondine goes wonky. Almondine has a gray base, which means that depending on skin tone, it turns from a nude to a gray. And I mean that sincerely because oh, um, I have three people from the same family. Two of them love almondine. One of them it turns gray on. It's not ideal. So um, did you like that color or no? Mm -mm. Maybe we go conceal. Not that yellow. Glimpse. Conceal. Conceal's too pink. Hmm. I feel like glimpse stays nude. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Glimpse it is. All right, here we go. All of these products can be purchased at polishedpinkiespro.com. We sell luminary and we sell accents. We also sell the Polished Pinkies Pro tools. thing about Luxio gel polishes is that they are 100% gel and if you are not sure what that means it means that um, it's not a hybrid and hybrid gel polishes are gel polishes that have both nail polish and gel in them which means um, that you have to apply it in paper thin layers that's usually the key to it being a hybrid because it has to dry and cure at the same time so if those are the polishes that you're using, awesome. Um, there are really good ones out there. But by switching to 100% gel, it will really change your nail game. Your client's manicures will last longer. They will stay shinier longer. And you won't have to soak off every single time, which will improve the health of your client's nails um, immensely. All right, lock that for me. Um, over here, what, how are we going to do it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Let me have that hand back. I've got to, I got to figure this one out. Okay. All right. Okay, let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. Um, we're doing like a broken, oh, you know what I should do? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'll do the other color first. Uh, sometimes I get questions in regards to using Luxio with Luminary, um, and that it shrinks and pulls away from the sides and whatnot. It is because your prep was not as good as it could be. And I mean that lovingly. <laughs> um, but I would suggest paying attention when you are cleansing the nail plate to not be rubbing on any of the skin and to really use your fingernail and get down into those sidewalls. Because any oil that you leave behind, every product or every layer that you cure, that oil is going to come up to the top. And Luxio and oil hate each other. They are not besties. So... Definitely pay attention to um, your prep. And Luxio and Luminary, I mean, they work. I'm so sorry. <laughs> they work excellent together. It's uh, fantastic, actually. So if you are having any shrinking or any application issues, I would always work on looking at your uh, the way you prep and cleanse. That's number one. Okay. Number two would be that you would just remove the inhibition layer and um, Luxio will apply just fine. That's also an option. All 
All right, and let's go. Um, over here, we're gonna do right here. Are you dressing up for Halloween, Mallory? Yes. What are you being? Um, Ursula. That's the adorable. Little mermaid. Well, I think. Oh. Because. I'm not sure. <laughs> Me and my friend group, we wanted to be villains, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that's who I want to be, but I want to make it modern. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to look like an octopus and stuff. Uh-huh. So, we'll see how that goes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. We're going to uh, a place called Fuego in Provo. Mm -hmm. It's a dance club. Yeah, I've heard of it. So fun. So um, do you love to dance? Uh, yeah. Oh, you do? I'm not good at it, but I like to do it. I like so. it. Mm -hmm. This is a good workout, too. Lock that, please. That's also very nice for people who like to work out like you do. It's like me. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I'm that type of person, but <laughs> it's okay. This color is so pretty. I love it. So pretty. It's one of the hot colors every single year. It just never seems to not be popular. It is so beautiful. All right, and this goes for the whole time, please. Excellent. If you are somebody who is trying to get closer to the epinychium without touching, I would suggest that you do a couple of things. There's always the trick with the detailer, like a little nail art brush. Um, you can definitely do that. However, I find that that just adds time to my service. So if I'm trying to stay on timing wise, then it takes longer for me to pick up a brush and inch that backward um, toward the epinychium. The trick is, is to go slowly and to try to get your bristles to fan out to the same shape as the epinychium. If by chance you can't do that, then it is about pulling the nail this way and working, trying to work as perpendicular as possible. We wanna have polish in front and we're kind of just pushing gently, slowly. Your client should be staying still. You wanna know what will make you so mad? Is if they wiggle uh -huh. right then. <gasps> so, clients, stay still. Your, client, your uh, nail tech is hard at work trying to um, get this polish as close as possible so that your nails will look good the whole time. All right, and that goes. How is everyone today? There you come. Um, do we double? Maybe. Maybe a very thin layer of color. Iwana, hello, Iwana. Is that how you say your name? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Listen, Iona, you have let me say it wrong this whole time. You are the <laughs> sweetest. 
You are the sweetest. All right, and that goes. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. So for those of you who live here in Utah and you are near us in um, Clearfield, Mallory is currently taking clients. We're excited. We haven't been able to take clients, new clients for a while. Um, so Mallory is able to take new clients and you can book your appointment via the link in our bio. Um, if that proves to be a little bit difficult, because sometimes Vagaro is difficult to use, um, you can always text us. Uh, let me have that hand back. We'll do our double oh. code. Um, you can always text us at 801-589-8761 and we will happily schedule you into the program or into the um, service. He was so good. He was so adorable. That little boy over there. Mm -hmm. So cute. He's so cute. All right, and that goes. All right, now, now for did I make my life difficult or not? I'm not sure. We'll see. Maybe I did. <laughs> uh, it's okay. All right, now we have all that in there. We are going to go in, this is the Magpie Illustrator brush, and we're going to go in and just kind of erase. The design that we're doing, it doesn't matter um, what my end shape is as far as the um, nude that we have on here. So I'm just going to kind of erase the area that I'm going to put stuff in, just like that. Who all is going to Fuego? I think... Uh, just like your roommates and stuff? No, not my roommates. Oh, just some friends? Yeah, me and Riley and then our... Kind of our book club friends. Oh, good! Yeah. I really do think it's cool that you're in a book club. It's pretty awesome. I feel like an old lady. <laughs> but it's okay. It is okay. I don't think you are an old lady. I think... It will make you very well read. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think we're going to read um, The Tattooist of Auschwitz. Next. That will be a very sad book, don't you think? Yes, but it will be interesting. Very yes. um, captivating. Yes, that is true. That so is true. That's what's going to have to get me on the books because I don't read ever. So it has to be captivating to get you in. Lock that. It has to be good stuff. I hear that. I can get behind that. Oh, you come. Does your family go Black Friday shopping? Uh, sometimes, not really. Like sometimes we go to Ulta. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Ulta's fun. Uh huh. Um, yeah. You you do you shop online? Oh yeah, all the time. Oh yeah. Because we live, well, they live now. I used to live in the middle of nowhere. That's true. So online shopping is the way to shop. That's true. So. That is true. Way back in the day when you lived down in Podunkville. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should be using a bigger gel brush to clean this up. But listen guys, we do with what we have. Meh. 
Meh, meh. I think I do need to. Except this one, I'm gonna have to. Hmm, this one's not gonna be my friend either. That's okay though. We'll make it work. My motto in life is it's fine. Everything's so fine. <laughs> Even right now while I'm trying to get this off and it isn't doing what I want. It's fine. So fine. Nails Leslie M. Hello, Sarah. Hi, so Leslie. She says, How are you? And then Iwana says, silly question. Does yes. the gel come off the white towels when washed? Nope. No, no. Nope, they do not. So you can always put down a table towel and be putting that. But then I always find I get more lint, which bothers me. So I just buy new towels every year or, you know, every little while. Or I save a towel for, you know, when I do a live and I don't want it to look like we're dirty. Because we're not dirty. We bleach them. But definitely, no, it does not come out. All right. This was not my best idea to do it this way, but... It's okay. Live and learn. Last one. Okay, so what I mean by making the bristles be the shape of the epinichium, see how I'm fanning it out, I'm just wiggling back and forth, and it's literally going into the shape of her epinichium. That is going to help you get that polish really, really nice and tight um, without having to pull out another bristle. We have a question from yes. Lather Rinse Repeat Salon. Yes. Um, is the nude you are using solid enough to cover the green? The nude I am using currently, no, it is not, which is why I chose to do it this way, even though it's proving to be a little more difficult than expected. Nope, this green is super, super pigmented. Um, I could have gone in maybe with gel play nude, that probably has enough pigment to do the thing. But instead, we're showing you that if by chance you made a decision like I did, how to still do it in the right time. Do you like watching people polish? Yes. Me too, I don't know why. Something about it. <gasps> Have you seen those videos? <laughs> Where they put polish all over the person's hand, like all over the whole finger, they just kinda like slap it on. And then at the end they take like a, not a cotton swab, but in essence a cotton swab, and they 
take it off of all of the skin. Have you seen those videos? Um, I have. And? That bugs me. <laughs> it's very cool because they make it look neat, but that is so... Yeah, but it's so bothersome. Oh. So bothersome. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's like cleaning up your kids. Yeah. Mess or something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's exactly. Just, does not seem right. No. Agreed. And that goes? Agreed. I kind of have to look away at those videos. <laughs> Even though I end up watching them, it's kind of like, oh, no, no. What in the world is happening? <laughs> Which is exactly what they're wanting me to do, you know? Mm-hmm. Iwana says apparently it's a very popular technique in Brazil. That one? Yeah. Really? That's odd. That's really odd. That's very, very odd. Then you don't have to have technique or skill, really. You just mm -hmm. clean it up, Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's okay. It's okay. To each their own. Hmm. That's not my own. No. <laughs> no, but guess what? They're probably much faster. <laughs> yep. What's the design we are doing? So we're doing like a, a broken, um, kind of like geode a mm -hmm. little bit and then. But not, I know what people just thought when they said, mm -hmm. keep going. Oh, no, 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 none of those. No, 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 no. Yuck. Do you know what that means? Do you know what the words are for what geode nails are? No. Okay, well, I'm, it's not Instagram appropriate. Oh. But I will tell you later. Oh. And people who know are currently giggling. Well, anyways, we're doing something <laughs> like that. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. putting some abstract print in the nude. Yeah. Yep. But not geode nails. No. Oh. We don't do that here. <gasps> no. No, we don't. Mm -mm. Trust me. And that goes... All right, so now we're gonna pull out our gel play line it black. Uh, there have been a lot of questions regarding what is the difference between line it black and black. Uh, they're both black. Just line it black cures without a tacky layer and you can put it on top of your top coat. Uh, for instance, during the Halloween season, you could do a matte black nail and then you would use this to create your spider web or your spider, that's the shiny against the matte situation. Um, you can chrome on this because it cures without a tacky layer. So you would put it on something, you would give it like a half cure and then you would chrome on top of it. Um, there's just a lot of benefits. Oh, it also is just a little bit smoother um, in application. So when you're doing line work, it just kind of doesn't uh, break. So the joy of the Accents Gel Play is that they are very thick gel and so it doesn't move so wherever I put it is where it's staying which I love love but um, sometimes like the gel play just regular black is a little bit more finicky and you have to go a little bit slower if you didn't want the lines to break so there you go that's what the differences are color coming off so clean and not just smearing everywhere without alcohol um i had i am putting unfortunately don't ever tell anybody Shh. <laughs> do not tell anybody that i put my oval 111 into alcohol but i did don't tell but i did get alcohol and i was just take, kind of taking it off and then i was wiping it onto my towel 
Um, I feel like everybody should protect their 111, so that's why I'm saying that. Like, don't, don't ruin your 111s. Maybe use an old one that is ruined for your cleanup brush. All right, and that goes. Now, do you want gold or silver? Uh, oh, maybe gold. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I'm feeling gold because of the season we're in. Yes, this is true. It would be cool if it was silver in the summer, but. Or we could do bronze. Nope. Okay. Gold. Gold. <laughs> Are you not a bronze girl? I don't know. Oh. It just doesn't seem like something I would like on my nails. Really? Oh, girl. Mm-hmm. I mean, I probably might. Yeah, because bronze is the new it color, you know. Everybody, you heard it here first. Oh. Uh-huh. Bronze. No more rose gold. We're into bronze now. Everyone is saying gold, so we should Oh, shall, we gold, shall it gold. Mm -hmm. gold it is. Mm-hmm. Gold it is. But everybody, you should give the line at gold or the line at bronze a chance. I know it looks like chocolate. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. And when I was at Disneyland last, before all this stuff, bronze was the it color. Mm -hmm. There were bronze ears and bronze leggings of Mickey Mouse. I'm telling you, bronze is it. All right, and that goes, please. All right, so since gold was chosen, we're gonna take out our line at gold. So the line at series comes in, the original was black, white, and silver. Oh, well, aluminum, let's be exact. And then the next one was gold, rose, and bronze. The only one that's weird is aluminum, but let me tell you how to fix it in case you have it and you're like, what is happening? You're going to take just a little bit of your gel. Um, it's kind of gluey, the aluminum one is, and I think it has to do with the pigment. But you're going to take a little bit of the gel, put it onto a palette, and mix in just a little bit of Shine On to make it um, movable. And then you're gonna use it, because remember, this cures without a tacky layer, and it cures shiny, which means it's like Shine On, which is a no-wipe, tack-free top coat. So just mix just a little bit, at a time. If you mix this whole thing, it will go back to being weird and you'll have lost this and some of your shine on. So why waste it? A little bit, shine on on a palette, you'll be good to go. I really do love the tone of the aluminum and I really do love the um, final outcome of these gels. So it is worth getting, it is worth just making a little bit at a time. I'm currently using the Magpie Detailer, which is my most favorite brush. Um, it is a very, very thin bristled brush. So if you're wanting a thicker line, you just need to apply pressure and splay those brushes a little. And that way um, you'll get a thicker line. And then if you want a thinner line, we need to be perpendicular to the nail. Brush pressure is a lot of speeding you up. Um, understanding the technique of using your nail art brush will really help you not take so long in getting um, the fine details. Hi, Mom. Hi. 
What are we doing? Oh, well, that's cool design. Like a abstracty geode. That's all. There you go. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. An abstracty geode, everybody. Cool. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll go back then. Okie doke. I'll be back there in a moment. All right, and that goes. We're almost done. This is a very easy design. And it's also very forgiving. When you do designs like this, like for instance, I didn't get the green all the way down here. Guess what? It doesn't matter because I can put gold there. And I can just make it a little bit thicker. And um, then I can cover up what is quote unquote a mistake. The less you have to remove and start over, the faster your time will be. So you just have to come up with ways of um, improvising. That way you don't have to waste time and you don't waste product either. All right, there. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, give me one second. Oh, no worries. No worries. We're a real life place. <laughs> That's just how it is. For instance, guys, there's fuzz on here, so I'm gonna use it to my benefit. Actually, I'm trying to get it off, but. Fuzz is the devil. Shop hours tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. So our general shop hours are Monday from nine to three, Tuesday through Friday from nine to six. So tomorrow is nine to six. And if you come in and shop here in the store, then you get to buy Magpie and Accents and Luminary and the tools all at the same time. If you shop online, you do have to buy the Magpie separately um, and we cannot combine shipping. So for those of you who are local, sweet. All right, Kara, I just have to top coat her. Do you have a moment? Yeah. Okay. I'll just quickly toss this on. So we are using our favorite Accents Shine On. It is a 30 second no wipe top coat. It is does have UV inhibitors, and, which make your um, pastels brighter and your whites brighter and all of the things. And um, it is stain resistant, not stain proof. If you need stain proof, then you'll go with the Accents Ultra Gloss, which comes in a pot and then you apply that with a gel brush. Flip for me. Now, if by chance, when you applied your base coat and you got it all perfect and it changed its shape, then Shine On is a self-leveling gel and you can use it to correct your shape at the end. Or if you have nail art and it's bumpy, then you would put this on and let it self-level. That way you have beautiful, smooth nails. Flip for me. You can take the hand out. All right, flip back. All right, and that goes. I am a super big fan of Shine On. 
and another reason why I love it is because um, it's forgiving. So you can easily just kind of pick it up, move it around. Um, it, I suppose you could consider it a thinner gel, which can cause a little bit of an issue if you are slower, but that's where doing two nails and then flip to the other hand, two nails, that will help you to prevent it from flooding. And that goes, please. Is Shine On available in refill sizes? Oh, if only. Hey, Accents. <laughs> hey, Accents, are you listening? We want that and we want uh, no more glitters in gel plate. We want colors in the line at consistency. Okay, everybody. Pass on the word. <laughs> <laughs> no more glitters. We just want more line it in new colors of gel plate, please. And thank you. And if you could release those by January, that'd be great. Start the new year off right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this is when we need it. This is when we want it. Please and thank you. And that goes. If only I had such power, but I do not. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. Also, if you could stop putting out reds, I would also appreciate that. I love all of your products so very much. They changed my whole entire career, but enough with the reds. Love you. <laughs> that's my other that's my other words of advice for our dear pals at Accents. All right, last finger. All right, flip over. And you go, please. Excellent. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Again, you can get all of these products at polishpinkiesprocom We are having a... Oh, we had an issue here. Don't worry. I'll fix that, guys. Um, in the meantime, of course, we're always here. And we are happy to answer any questions. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.